Catmac 316 here, gonna do a model review today of the Talking Replicas Cat 340DL from the uh, Chinese market. It's a lot cheaper machine than what the 336s are and all that. But it's got the uh, 336 car body and the 345 undercarriage, which is really cool. I'll go over that in a sec. But first, I wanna go over this. I was supposed to do a second model unboxing yesterday, but I couldn't because there was too much background noise and it sounded like shit. So this is it right here, which is a 983B by CCM in 148 scale with a rock bucket and a ripper. More on that uh, later on another review. But let's go back to the excavator here. Um, this machine is done in 150 scale, like I said, by Tonkin Replicas. It's a very nice piece of view over it. The windows are a little bit larger here. Um, the casting is a lot better. Like the grill work is etched in a lot better. The paint's done a lot better. Um, we'll start off with the height here. And that holds up pretty nicely. And the depth will go down here. And that's the digging depth right there so that's remarkable so we'll start with the cap here full focus there we go you can see the seat and everything in there you can see all the controls like the pilot controls the armrests and you can see part of the, the hand uh, hand travel uh, you gotta travel the tracks by hand then uh, on the seat you can see let's see there we go you can see a cat logo on there which is awesome um, I don't know I understand why they have the black front window you got the nice hoses right here that are rubber like a hard rubber but you can see all the hoses going up to the casting as you can see there's a little bit of play right there so I don't know what that means um, you got boom lights you got cab lights but they're not painted in so I'm gonna paint it in But there we go. It turns very nicely. It turns very nicely at 360 degrees. Now, it, now it's got metal handrails all around it, but it's got a flimsy plastic mirror, which is fine, whatever. The grill work is very nice on this. Um, as you can see, it does actually have hoses that go all the way up the machine, and it's not simulated into the casting, which is a plus side, Like unlike other uh, model makers who do that. Got the black hoses going up here, then yellow from here, then black all the way down to the boom, to the stick. Uh, the decals are clean and crisp. Very well done. It's a heavy, heavy model. Because there's hardly any plastic on it. And it's even got the little windshield wiper. Which is a plus. Another plastic mirror. But a metal handrail. The tracks. And the undercarriage are done up real nice. Um, the rollers on top are stationary so they don't move. And there's none at the bottom. But it does have track tensioners. So you can see the track loosening. The tracks are nice and thick. And done up very, very well. I wouldn't mind I wouldn't mind if they sold these tracks, I'd buy them. But as you can see, it does roll somewhat with these. 
it can hold any pose. Um, the bucket itself has all the teeth and the side cutter, but there it's a smooth bottom. So this is for light duty digging pretty much, not heavy duty digging. So it doesn't have all that extra guarding. It's very nice. I don't understand that black part of the hydraulic right there, that thin piece where it meets the chrome, but it has it all over the place, I guess. Very nice. This is all plastic right here, too. The hood is plastic, so. This is fine, but it's a great piece. I just don't get how the operator can sit all the way back, but he's going to be really tall like me, then, to do that. Um, it's a well done up model. The steps are done up nice. They're all metal cast into in there. So it's not plastic like Norscott and all them. So it looks like underneath. Not much to talk about. But it says by uh, made by uh, Talking Replicas and it's got the model number on there. Got the talking replica stamped on it. Not much to the, not too much to the end of the carriage. As you can see, there's no bogies or nothing underneath. But it is a great piece for the money. Everything's done up to most of the scale. Um, the only thing I wish they put on here was a better bucket. But everything else is done up real nice. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this model review of the Tonkin Replicas 340DL. And I got it from, what's it called? Central Valley Models out of California. Like I said, right here. Great place. Great deals. Great customer service. So... Oh yeah, and it does come with a card, but I already put that away back in its box, but yeah, it comes up with pretty much what the, specs of the, what the main specs of the machine are, the horsepower, the motor, and all that, but I think it's a great model, worth the buy, and we'll see how long the metal tracks actually last, but this is a good taste of what, if they do any more excavators, what they could look like and be, so I'll talk to you guys later.